Good evening, everyone. My name is Shannon Russell Bennett, and I'm the principal at Ana Verde Hills School, home of the Vipers. And this year, I have the privilege of recognizing our volunteer of the year, Ms. Christy Alon. This year, Ms. Alon has served as the PTA president, and let me tell you, she has done a phenomenal job. She has brought innovation and cooperation to the board. The relationship we share with our PTA enables us to meet the needs of all of our students. Anytime there's an event or a need on campus, Christy is there with a smile, a positive attitude, and a helping hand. She is well known around campus and her calm demeanor makes every event a success. During our school closure, she has stepped up to help keep all parents and students engaged. From walking bear hunts in the neighborhood to virtual spirit weeks, she is working diligently to bring some fun for our students and families. She has even recorded a read aloud video to be shared with our students to help keep everyone engaged in literacy. She does all of this in addition to being a stellar mom to her daughter, Sasha. We couldn't imagine Anna Verde Hills without Christy and we are lucky to have her as our volunteer of the year. We thank her so much for her dedication and her hard work to our school, our community and our staff. Christy, thank you so much. This honor is very well deserved. Hello everyone, I'm Laura Duran, principal of the fabulous Idea Academy at Cottonwood. It's my privilege to congratulate our 2020 Volunteer of the Year, Kimberly Regal. Kim Regal is a dedicated and active mom to three Idea Academy innovators, Micah, Leah, and Sarah. In addition to helping out in their classrooms on a daily basis, Kim makes her presence known throughout our campus in a variety of fun and important ways. She's an active and valued member of the PTA and can be counted on to help out with just about any PTA activity that takes place. Whether it's supporting our spirit wear program, the Who Bucks store, walk to school day, a family dance, or any other fundraising or creative activity that PTA has going, Kim is there. In addition to her work with PTA, Kim is that kind of caring individual that fills in the gaps on a school campus in ways that we didn't even know we needed. At the end of a big school event, Kim is always there to help clean up a spill, pick up confetti, pack up the supplies, and do what needs to be done so that all of the other volunteers can go home. During the course of a school day, Kim is that extra set of caring eyes that sees a need and fills a need. Whether it's stopping to tie a shoe, adjust a backpack, or bringing in extra donations so that no child goes without a snack or what they need for a special activity or event. Kim, we appreciate you and your willingness to help with any task from the smallest to the biggest thing. Everything that Kim does on our campus helps make our school a better place for everyone every day. On behalf of the staff and the school community at the Idea Academy, we honor you, Kim Regal, as our 2020 Volunteer of the Year. This is Raina Smith, Principal of Del Sur. I am honored to be able to present Del Sur's Volunteer of the Year, and that's Kara Michoni. Kara happens to be our Del Sur PTSA president as well. This was her first year taking on this big role, and she has given it 150%. She also happens to be a parent of three very energetic boys. Nolan, he's in first grade, Beckham in fourth, and Peyton is in sixth grade. And I know for a fact that I've asked her several times this year how she manages to do so much. She helps her husband, Mike, with their business. She's a mom to three boys and they have a list of activities from soccer and baseball. She has her own job and somehow she found time to lead our school's PTSA team. The amount of planning that is needed for events such as dances or, or even our fall festival would make anyone's head spin. Yet I never saw Kara be anything but positive and determined to get the job done. She always said it was for the kids. She inherited mostly a new group of PTSA board members and they were pretty new to their post too. She is going to be passing the torch to another parent this upcoming year. And um, I know for me, I personally, I'm gonna miss our conversations about 
leadership and focusing on what's best for kids. That passion for doing what's best for students is, I think, uh, I think it was a great compass that made her so successful in being our PTSA president. So Del Sur will be forever grateful for the countless hours and dedication from Kara. Thank you. Have a good evening. Hi, my name is Andrea Paxton and I am the principal of Esperanza Elementary. And today it is my pleasure that I get to recognize our volunteer of the year, Vicki Stevenson. Vicki Stevenson has made a huge impact on our campus at Esperanza. Vicki is a member of our executive board on the PTA and puts in numerous hours working with our fabulous PTA to fund fun activities for all of our students to participate in throughout the year. In addition to that, our school is lucky enough to have a student store that is open on a weekly basis where students have the opportunity to bring money from home and purchase fun little trinkets or school supplies. Vicki is in charge of this activity and is there every week working on that student store, which is a ton of work to keep the inventory up and put it all out. And then the kids really enjoy visiting with her on a weekly basis. Also, Vicki volunteers in her kids' classes. And when we discuss as a staff, who would be a good fit to recognize as volunteer of the year, teachers unequivocally voted that Vicki would be a phenomenal person to recognize as volunteer of the year because of all of the effort that she puts in at Esperanza. Most recently, we needed somebody to come and take over our yearbook and Vicki stepped right up and is doing a fantastic job. We cannot wait to see how our yearbooks come out. So join me in thanking Vicki Stevenson for all of the wonderful things she has done at Esperanza. Thank you, Vicki. On behalf of Greg Anderson Academy and all of our aviators, we would like to congratulate Mrs. Rachel Klug on receiving the Greg Anderson Volunteer of the Year. Mrs. Klug can be found on our campus countless hours during the week, volunteering in her son Max's kindergarten class and her daughter Kira's third grade classroom. She also sits on our PTA Executive Board in the capacity of treasurer. She makes sure that all of our students get the site licensing they need. She also volunteers at all of our site events from our fall festival to Coco with the principals. We appreciate her helping hand and we appreciate that she always has a smile to share with our students and staff. Congratulations, Mrs. Klug. board members and attendees, Hillview Middle School would like to take a moment to recognize Khan Bach as our Volunteer of the Year. Mrs. Bach has been instrumental in a lot of different things that we've had going on at Hillview. She is always willing to help us, whether that's coming in for different events with our PTSA, helping during pictures, handing out student IDs, during spirit wear sales, ASB sales, you name it, and she is just so happy to come in and help. She has been a parent here at Hillview for several years, having several different kids come through our school, and has just always been one of those people that we can rely on to help. And so Hillview is very excited to recognize Kahnbach as our volunteer of the year. Thank you so much for everything you do. From all of us at Hillview Middle School, thank you, Mrs. Bach, for your service to our students and staff. This honor is well-deserved. Hey everybody, this is Steve Wood, Principal Joe Walker Middle School, and I'm here to announce Joe Walker's Volunteer of the Year, Ann Wadsworth. Ann is our PTA president, and she just does a fantastic job in that role. She is such a hard worker, she's so organized, and uh, we really appreciate everything that she has done. 
Uh, this year she has uh, just done a phenomenal job with Joe Walker's Facebook page. We really appreciate how she's constantly got uh, information that she's sending out to the families. Uh, she's updating information not only from Joe Walker but also helping people connect with information that's coming in from the high school district for, for their students who go to the, to the high school as well. And she just does a great job. And if you haven't had the opportunity to check out Joe Walker's Facebook page, I would highly recommend it. Anne also does a great job working with uh, the other parents to help organize PTA activities on campus, such as running the snack bar during basketball and volleyball games, and also organizing a really fun activity that we had back in October, the Halloween costume contest. And so I just wanted to say a huge congratulations and a big, big thank you to Anne, Anne Wadsworth and everything that she has done. Uh, she truly deserves this Volunteer of the Year Award. Thank you so much, Anne. Good evening, everyone. My name is Shannon Russell Bennett, and I am the principal at Leona Valley School, home of the Bobcats. And tonight it is my pleasure to recognize our volunteer of the year, Mrs. Valerie Lang. Mrs. Lang has been selected as the Leona Valley Volunteer of the Year. She works diligently with our teachers and our PTO to help provide additional activities for our students. She has stepped up this year to manage the design, ordering, and distribution of our spirit wear no small feat. During this time, she has expanded the offerings to include drinking cups, hats, shirts, and sweatshirts. In addition, she was instrumental in helping to plan and put on our annual fall festival, which was a huge success. She can often be found volunteering for a variety of projects around campus, and her time and talents are a great asset to Leona Valley. We are so honored and privileged to get to recognize Mrs. Valerie Lang for all of her hard work and dedication to our students and our school. Thank you so much. Good evening. My name is Sylvia Borgotting and I'm the principal at Quartz Hill Elementary. I'm pleased to announce Quartz Hill's Volunteer of the Year for the 2019-2020 school year is Brandy Butler. Brandy helps our campus, students, and families in a myriad of ways. She is a member of our school site council and our PTA. Brandy also attends the superintendent's advisory committee meetings. She truly wants the best for our school. Brandy has even committed to becoming a Boys Town Parent Trainer of Trainers for the 2020-2021 school year. Not only does Brandy help plan and organize school events, but during family nights and lunch on the lawn, Brandy can be found with a mic in hand as master of ceremonies. She is always leading games and competitions for both students and their parents. I mean, what would lunch on the lawn be like without a parent versus children dance off? PTA would like to thank you, Brandy, for always offering your helping hand and making sure all ends are tied. Thanks to you, family nights were always a success with each event greater than the last. You're awesome. Brandy Butler's passion and dedication in supporting all children can be seen at Quartz Hill Elementary School, in her own home, and in the community. She has a positive energy that is an asset to our school and community. Thank you for all you do, Brandy. There are certain people that are a part of Rancho Vista. Everyone knows them, and they have the reputation of being willing to help everyone possible. Bridget Warner is such a person. She actually works at the school as a crossing guard and aide, but it's hard to tell when her work hours and her volunteer hours begin and end. Here are some of the comments people made about her. I know just how cheerful you always are firsthand. Thank you for always being willing to do whatever's asked. You are always so helpful. She's willing to help anyone and everyone. She will do anything. She will even do a Starbucks run if I need caffeine. I had Scarlett, Bridget's daughter, in my class last year. Even though she was working at school, she took the time to give many volunteer hours in the classroom with my students. In a short time, I noticed that Bridget is kind-spirited, full of energy, and I am pleased to have met her. One of the things that I have noticed is that she has a keen eye for amazing sales of school supplies and doesn't think twice about purchasing them for our students. For example, when Target had two pocket folders on sale for one cent, she bought them out and shared them with all the teachers. Another teacher said, I once needed something for a science lesson that day that I thought I had, and when I didn't, she went to Walmart and picked it up. 
She totally saves the day for many of us, volunteering when needed, filling in when others can't do something, and just being a model of kindness and willingness to help. Good evening, my name is Amy Brower and I'm one of the co-principals over at Sundown Elementary along with Antoinette Griffin, uh, the other co-principal. And we wanted to recognize tonight that our staff really wanted to recognize a lot of volunteers that we have on campus. One volunteer in particular though that they wanted to recognize and chose after voting is Michelle Davis. So our Sundown Volunteer of the Year is Miss Michelle Davis. Now she's the parent to two Sundown Elementary students, Caroline and Christopher, and we're so thankful to be able to have her as part of our campus community. She's one of those volunteers that is on campus and around campus so much that people tend to think that she's one of our staff members. She's currently the secretary of the PTA and is frequently on campus for that reason alone. If there's any event, activity, dance, store, volunteer opportunity, Michelle is there for it. Uh, on top of that, our teachers share that she is often, often, often helping out in classrooms on campus, whether that is weekly volunteer opportunities in classrooms or even helping out with special projects. Not only is she there, but she's there with a smile, genuine kindness, and a supportive attitude. She shares that sundown mentality of doing whatever it takes for the success of the students. At Sundown, we are big believers in that it takes a village to raise a child, and we are so thankful to have her be such a key part of our village. So thank you so much for all of your involvement, Michelle. We're thankful that we still have Christopher for a few more years, so we know we're not losing you anytime soon. Thank you so much, congratulations, and have a good evening. Hi, my name is Rebecca Davis, and I'm the principal at Valley View Elementary. And our volunteer of the year is Kirsten Larson. Kirsten Larson came to our school a couple years ago before school started to enroll her sons, Cooper and uh, Finley, into our Valley View community. So we met and I can tell that she was a very active and passionate parent and we were lucky to have her. As time went on, we got to know her true spirit. She's the community organizer type. She seeks out business donations, gift cards, pizza, uh, groceries for families, um, activities for students. She asks questions why, because she wants to hear the story from people of like, well, why are students struggling in math? Or why are they having trouble getting to school? So when she seeks to find out the why, it doesn't end there. That's when she's set on fire to make a difference. She was on our district arts um, planning committee and she served on there as a parent. And she's a local children's author with a recent book out, Wood, Wire, and Wings. And she organized our whole Valley View community to have a book fair at Barnes & Noble to raise money for our library to buy books. She takes on any little thing like our Valley View library and will make the magic happen. She's a good motivator and she has heart and a giving spirit. And she is a true treasure for Valley View. And that is why we're honoring her as our Valley View Volunteer of the Year. Thank you.